what are some of the worst finishing maneuvers you've seen? And what do you prefer, the Jake Roberts DDT, the flat DDT, or the Michael Hayes, Arn Anderson rolling DDT? Always the flat DDT because that's what the the whole idea was. And even to the point where when Jake would hook the front face lock and the way he would not only milk it, but then when he'd raise his right hand as far as he could in the air. I've said wrestling in a lot of cases like playing billiards and it's the fucking angles and the follow throughs and shit. When he'd raise his hand all the way up in the air and then he would bring it down hard and slap the guy's back right as he dropped and put him to his face. So it was like you got another three feet of motion in front of your eye. That's why. And it was real quick. So it, it, it was one of those sleight of hand deals that wrestling used to be famous for. And it, it, to, it, to me, the impact of I've just been smacked like, I've, you know, I'm going to look like a dog chasing parked cars is more devastating than the rollover. Because the role actually negates a lot of the seeming impact. However, there have been guys like, I remember Val Venus was one. I think Rob Van Dam, because he apparently can do anything without getting hurt. Um, the guys that would get spiked on top of their heads and stand straight up and then fucking flip over, I can buy that. But even though, I mean, Arn was great with the DDT. I always just liked personal favorite, the original version, and also the idea that you're fucking driving the guy's uh, face into, because think about this, that reverse DDT, everybody started doing it. He's driving the back of the guy's head in. He doesn't take a back flip over just me. What are the worst finishing maneuvers you've seen? Oh God. I'm, I mean, it, I mean the worst finishing maneuver I've ever seen. It's not the maneuver. It's the person doing it. Um, but as far as once again, worse in what way, as far as somebody who was really over or recognized the people's elbow, once again, was kind of a bullshit move, but rock was so over and he didn't use it. I don't believe as a finish, did he? I think he still did something else. The no, rock bottom or it whatever. It always drove me crazy how stupid it was, but he luckily he didn't use it as a finish. Yeah. But I'm, you know, I mean, the bad finishes to me weren't bad hokey. They were just either the ones that were that were kind of boring because they just, you can only get away certain people doing submissions um, anymore. Used to, you could do a submission to be a, but now it, it has to be a certain person. It has to really fit and it has to be a, a badass looking, you know, finishing move or submission hold. Um, but the bad finishes to me aren't the moves. They're just the, there's always some inspiration in, in a finish that anybody does. It, and even the midnight express back when we started on, tbs tv and decided we'd do a different one every week until we ran out if everybody goes back and looks after about six months on some of the tbs shows we did some funky shit that we didn't do again but the the inspiration was there it's just even the midnight express couldn't do everything so the finishes aren't bad it's how they're executed and the person doing them and and into a to some extent the people letting them do those bad shitty looking finishes um i mean there's been a there's also been some times a guy's aged out of their finish, you know, and couldn't do it anymore. You know, the, the, especially when the big guys couldn't clear the fucking ground on splashes and things like that. And the, uh, Moose Cholak in his latter days couldn't get off the ground to splash somebody. Um, so I, I, what do you think sucked? You know what? John Cena's STF is such a piece of shit. And it drives me insane because he doesn't even pretend to get the cross face anywhere within <laughs> proximity of the face. He basically just locks his hands a foot in front of the face. So I guess you're supposed to think that the pressure from the ankle lock, where John's holding your ankle with his feet, that's supposed to be enough to cause you to submit. It makes no sense, and it looks so bad, and there's no reason for it to be that sloppy. You can tighten that up without hurting anyone. Or but see there... It, there you prove my point it's not the the finishing move it's the execution of the finishing move that eric is called watts into question eric watts did it better well oh my god well there he is john please seek help <laughs> then is all i <laughs>